Yes, and also I have heard she's dating a senior. Wow, she's a real weirdo. You know what? Jessica is planning to propose Jungkook. You caught up and sat down, adjusting the phone against your ear, as if you're gonna accept. You scoffed annoyingly. Whatever, why do we care? We should just get ready to see the drama. Yes, you're right, but why do you hate him so much? Your families have good relationship, but you both don't like each other, why? I don't know, my blood start to boil seeing his face. And you get restless when not get to see him. She said teasingly and laughed. Yeah, are you serious? There was a knock on the door and soon your mom came inside. Wyan, you're still on your phone and I was calling you from last 15 minutes. One minute, Cassie. I'll call you later. You ended the call and looked at her. Mom, I was on call with Casey. What happened? Why were you calling me? She folded her arms. I told you that John family is coming for dinner and you are not even ready yet. They are already here. What? Sorry, I forgot. But mom, can I not join you guys for dinner? I'm not feeling good. Just a minute ago you were talking and laughing and now you suddenly started feeling bad. I don't wanna hear anything and Jungkook was there all alone. You should at least accompany him. You, you guys are friends. Who told you we are friends? It's okay auntie, please don't scold her because of me. He said showing up from the back while you got surprised. He always act innocent in front of your parents and make you evil. Your, your mom looked him with pity and then you angrily. You should stop being stubborn, Vyan. Now accompany him until me and Mrs. John ready the food. And if I hear anything, you'll be grounded for a week. Your jaw dropped while she walked away. Mom, what the? You paused and looked at him angrily while he smacked and walked inside your room before laying down on your bed, spreading his arms as if he owned it. Who gave you the permission to sleep on my bed? You walk near the bed. Get up from here. He looked at you. I'm your guest, birdie. You should treat me well. In your dreams, now get up. He closed his eyes. Suddenly I'm feeling sleepy. Then sleep on the floor. That is the best place for you. You grabbed his hand and tried to make him stand but he was heavy. Suddenly he pulled you closer as you landed directly on his chest. You lift up your head and looked at him as he was looking you raising his brow. What are you trying to do? Your eyes widened as you quickly got up. You know what? Just stay here. I'll go. You left from there slamming the door loudly while he chuckled. Next day in school. Yes, I saw that tape and it was really helpful. Thank you so much. Mike smiled and took the tape from your hand. I'm glad it was helpful for you. By the way, if you need any help, then you can ask me. Really? Oh my god, thank you. You know, I was just thinking that if someone would personally teach me the rules and how to play, it would be great. Thank you so much. Mike smiled. Just then Jungkook came in the middle pushing Mike a bit to the other side.
Excuse me, that's my locker. Not any gossip point. You can talk anywhere else. You rolled your eyes and looked at Mike. Let's go, Mike. And also, tell me when you're free so that we can play basketball game. I'll come to pick you up. You both were about to walk when Jungko called Mike. Yeah, Mike, I have to tell you something. Let's go. He wrapped his arms around his shoulder and walked away with Mike leaving you standing. Jerk. You walked towards the classroom. Mom, I'm going for practice. She patted your back. I know my sweetheart but it won't take long. I just prepared this dish and Jungkook's mother likes it so much. I would have go by myself but I have lots of work to finish. Why don't you just call her and give it? She gave you a look. Who does that? And also, it won't take you even 5 minutes. If you do this, I'll let you go for shopping with Casey and extra bonus from my side. Your face brightened up. Really? Are you promising that? She nodded. Yes, now go. I've already told her that you're coming. Okay, but if Mike come, then tell him to wait. She nodded while you grabbed your bicycle keys and walked away happily thinking about upcoming weekend. I told you mom not to trouble you, but she doesn't listen. It's okay auntie, mom wanted to deliver it by herself, but she was caught up in work. She's such a sweetheart. By the way, why are you standing here? Let's come inside. It's okay, Auntie. I have to go. You came after so many days. I don't even get to see you much, even though we don't live that far. Come inside. I'll make you a favorite coffee. She grabbed your hand and walked you inside with her. You can go in Jungkook's room also, he's home. No, it's okay, auntie. She smiled. Your wish. I'll make you coffee, okay? You nodded while she walked in the kitchen. You sat on the couch and looked around. I hope he doesn't come out from his room. God listened to your prayers in a second, but opposite to what you asked for. Jungkook came downstairs and when he saw you, his face curled up in a smirk. He was only in his trousers but he doesn't care to put on a shirt and just drop himself on the couch after grabbing the remote of TV and turn it on. You look to the other side. Are you blind or what? Can't you see I'm here? He looked at you. Are you a queen of somewhere? You looked him annoyingly. Such an idiot. Aren't you ashamed of sitting half naked in front of me? Oh hello, this is my house and I can wear whatever I want. You came uninvited. You should feel ashamed of yourself. I can only expect this from you. You fold your arms and look to the other side. He was really enjoying all this so he decided to tease you more. And what were you talking to Mike? That's none of your business. Always put your nose in the middle of everything. The movie he played, suddenly the male lead started to kiss as Jungkook tried to control his smile when he looked at you. 
such a shameless jerk. You got up and was about to walk when he grabbed your hand and made you sit on the couch again. Your eyes widened. What the hell is wrong with you? You paused as he leaned closer. W what are you doing? Just because I don't say anything, I hear you calling me jerk so many times. Do you really know how jerks act like? Get off from me before I call your mom. He's me. Call her if you can. You tried to push him but then you realized your hands were over his bare chest so you quickly pulled your hands back. He smirked and looked at you as your cheeks turned red. Don't be shy to show that you secretly like my body. Your eyes widened as you pushed him. Pervert. He sat besides you laughing while you got up. I really wish they both get along well. Their small fights are cute and they seem close already. My Jungkook never stopped talking about her but never admit. Your mom chuckled as they both were talking on the phone. Same goes with my Vyan. Their small bickerings already brought them together. They will definitely end up together and I would be so happy to see her as my daughter-in-law. Mrs. John came with a tray of coffee and snacks. She looked at you. Are you going, honey? No, auntie. Then she looked at Jungkook. Jungkook, what's with this dress up, huh? Where is your shirt? You, you also looked at him. I was just going to wear it, mom. Get up and wear your shirt right now. He got up and walked towards his room while you tried to control your smile. She then looked at you. I'm so sorry honey. I don't know why he do such things. Let's drink coffee. I brought these cream breasts yesterday. You'll like these. You smiled and sat down. Ten years later. I just got heart attack seeing this message. Don't you pity me even a little? All these things you brought, what's the use of it even? Your kids were watching both of you while smiling slightly. These things are more useful than you and also, ignore my calls and I'll make you realize your mistakes. Jungko grabbed his forehead. Nuna, when will they gonna change and stop fighting? He asked his older sister in whisper while she replied smiling. They will never. They are like this from the start as granny told me. You looked at him. From next time, if you ignore my cause, I would do something more horrible than this. He sighed and dropped himself on the couch. As if there's still something left. It's been 10 years since you got married but you're still same. These small fights are the strongest sign of your love. When your parents asked you guys to marry, none refused and that's how you both realized you were in love. You both have two kids who are completely opposite to you and are quiet. They both also enjoy a fight, especially your 8 year old daughter. She already got her standards high and want a relationship like her parents in future. Now get up and help me with this stuff. He was lazy in getting up so you grabbed his hand and make him stand. You are heavy. Your eyes widened when he picked you up in bridal set. What the? Yeah, kids are watching. Kiddos in your rooms right now. Yes boss, they both both got up and walked towards their rooms giggling while you hit Jungkook's arm.
You don't even feel ashamed talking like this to kids. They would have never born if I was not shameless. He walked towards your room.